<laughs> hey, uh, your boy, Macho Man Randy Savage, is going to the Hall of Fame. What did you think when you heard that news? No, uh, you know, I was, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a mark for the Hall of Fame thing. I, I think it's awesome. I love the whole, the deal, everything about it. You know, Randy should have been in there, you know, we all know, 20 years ago. But, you know, he's finally in. So, you know, I would have loved to have seen him be there to, to do the acceptance speech. You know, I'm sure Lanny will get that spot. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I was, I was proud for him, even though, you know, he should have been there years ago and, uh, I was happy for his family, you know, cause it, it ain't the hall of fame really until you put Randy in there, <laughs> you know, he's one of the, uh, one of the all time greats. And, uh, I think I, I wasn't really crazy about the, um, the tribute video that they did on raw though. I thought, God, they had so much to work with. You know, I, I thought that like Scott Hall's last year, I thought was was awesome. I mean, that that one they did for him, I thought that was really great. Um, well, you know, I've, got a bit not... a little, I've been getting a little bit of feedback on my uh, email, and uh, I've got a lot of people that are surprised that Hogan is the one that's inducting him because allegedly there was a lot of heat there for a lot of years, yeah. and all of a sudden yeah. now, okay, everything's all hunky dory. But that's only one side of the story because we can't hear savages. What were your thoughts right. on the fact that Hogan's putting him in? Well, you know. I was actually at TNA. I wasn't wrestling then. I'd stopped by. I'd stopped by to see some of the boys. And Randy had come in. And that's when he was hanging out with, uh, Brian, uh, with um, Brian Adams, who I loved. That was a great guy. Right. Um, and really, really, really funny. But those two were hanging out together. And Randy was coming in. I guess he was talking to them about doing something. And Hulk showed up that day and like, dude, I just happened to be standing in the exact spot as Randy was right, right off to me to my right. And Hogan came in and I watched him walk up to him and put his hand out like to like, let's, you know, let's shake hands or whatever. He told me, if I couldn't hear what he said, but I know he put his hand out and he said, uh, let's, you know, Randy, let's bury the hatchet and shake hands or go outside and do this. You know, whatever. I'm, that's what Hulk said he said. So I don't know what he really said because, you know, it sounded right to me at the time. But I watched Randy look at him and just storm off. Mm. You know, so I, you know, I got to know Hogan when I was in WCW. And I just don't think that I think that you run out of time sometime with your friends. You know, maybe if you would have got in his car and drove over to Randy's house, you know, maybe that would have been all it took. You know, who knows? All I know is, you know, you've heard me tell the story before when I called him up and thanked him on Thanksgiving, you know, and how he acted to me when he saw me the next time, you know, just gave me the big hug and, you know, it told me how much it meant to him. I was, I was just calling to say thank you, <laughs> you know? So, you know, some, you don't know how stuff, you know, ends, but, you know, I, I try to, you know, not stay mad at my friends. You know, and I know those guys went through a lot of, you know, went through a lot of stuff. So I think Hulk, I think, I think Hulk will really do him justice, you know, in the, uh, you know, in the induction. I think he'll put him over big time and maybe say all the things he wish he could have said to him.